Hello everybody and welcome back to Jake's RC Stuff and to a video that's probably going to take many days to actually film. Possibly, I don't know, we'll, we'll work it out as we go along. But, um, this is the reconfiguration of the drift being continued. In the previous video, um, well the previous couple of videos on the drift, because this hasn't actually been flown yet, uh, I fixed the issue with the wing where I broke the connector off. I have also um, moved it from R9 on my X7S to Crossfire on my Radio Master. And now um, we're going to be looking at redoing INAV. So what I've done is I had 2.5 on it before. Inside the 2.5 configurator, I did a dump of all the settings. You just type dump into the CLI, copy and paste everything into a notepad and save it. That's in case I decide to go back to 2.5, I can do that. Um, I can flash 2.5, reload that as like a starting point in case 3.0 doesn't work. So I'm going to install 3.0 um, or whatever the latest release version of that is and go from there. Um, also, I really liked how the OSD was set up on this, so I can copy and paste just the OSD bit in and have the OSD as it was. I might set up two, uh, two OSDs, a full one and a smaller one, which, which would just have capacity, distance from home, direction to home, that's about it. Um, just so that I can have a, have a peer around with this plane when it's hopefully all working. So I'm going to be following, so, let me start again, once I did the dump, I installed, see, configurator 3.0 um i've installed that you basically just download it and run it it's really not that hard um i'm running the fo something or other what i'm going to do is i'm going to be going through penis 360s videos um in terms of how i'm going to do the videos of this i'm basically going to say i am doing this video now go for it and then give you some feedback at the end now this video this tutorial was for 2.5 or 2.6 that we know on three so there may be some differences but we're gonna try maybe i can also send feedback to him um don't know the guy i've never spoke to him before i sent feedback saying hello i've i've tried seeing it i now three times and hated it um try seeing it up another time using your tutorial with 3.0 and it worked brilliantly and that maybe tells him you know how much work he has to do to redo it for 3.0 now um so we're going to be starting off of course from flashing iron out so i want to reflash it and um, erase the board and as I say, I'm not going to film me doing these things. So A, I can concentrate, and B, if I want to do what I'm doing, I'll go and watch this, um, I will just record if I come across any issues or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'll go and watch that video, do everything that's in the video, and we'll go from there. Right, so I came across an issue more or less immediately. So as you see before, I was using Configurator 3.0. What was confusing me is when I chose the right board, which is the 411 se i want to choose the firmware no 3.0 that's because show stable releases that's kind of annoying that it resets your board afterwards for 411 se i'm just going to go for the standard one and there's 3.0 which is the release candidate excellent so now we should be able to oh let's do a full ship erase as well uh, 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 uh. Load firmware online, and I'll go through and get this flashed. I'll be back very shortly. All right, since we carry on having issues, um, the piece of software that I should really remind you of is Impulse RC Driver Fixer. Um, that's just a piece of software that will make sure that the drivers are running as they should do. So if I now go into iNav Configurator, go to Firmware Flasher, Show Stable Releases, Matec. F411SE with 3.0, load firmware online, flash firmware, erasing, there we go, it's working. Excellent, we're back very shortly. Okay guys, so this is such an important change in INAV 3.0 that I wanted to highlight it. So, rename nav, nav cruise mode to nav cruise hold and add cruise mode, which is equivalent to uh, cruise mode and altitude hold. So previously in 2.6 and below, if you wanted fully locked in flight in a straight line, so both height and direction, you had to engage both, uh, let me have a look. It was nav cruise and nav alt hold. You had to engage both of them. But now cruise is the same as both and course hold does what it says. So course hold is just direction kept the same. Um, altitude hold, keeping the altitude the same and if you want both 
you know, just two screws. So that's a, a much better and simpler way of doing things. Right, well, I keep having issues where I don't know if it sort of gives up on me. Um, so I'm trying to look the configuration tab. If I go to OSD, for example, I restart the computer. It kind of works for a bit, and then if you try and load configuration, it just freezes. For fuck's sake. Like, other stuff will load. Oh, that's my iPad that's just got on the floor. That's bad news. Um, but if I disconnect and connect, other stuff loads fine. So as I was saying, like I've done this, this is fine. I can go into other tabs. So PID tuning. That will eventually load. If I go in configuration, I've tried restarting, I've tried using the driver redo down for Bob. I'm having all sorts of issues. Um, I'll see what I can get with that. I'm fed up with this beeping as well, so I'm going to unplug it. Back shortly. Okay, so I think the last clip I showed you I was having issues. What I had to eventually do was dump the CLI, completely reflash the board with full array switched on. I tried doing it without full array switched on, it's still the same. Full, full array and reflash it. Um, and then just copy and paste the dump file back in and it worked fine. So it wasn't something wrong with the config file, it got broken or some way, it was fine. Um, so I've done this video and this video, and we're now on... The only issue that I've got, and this is my fault more than anything, is the mode. So the way I have it switched up is I have it so that that way is auto circle mode or loiter, that way is return to launch, and then mid position it should listen to this switch. So I think this is like channel 5 and this is channel 7. Um, and then this has manual, stabilised, and cruise. So that is direction cruise and altitude cruise. The problem is, is that sometimes it doesn't listen to this switch, because I'm used to FY41s, and um, now I know that the thing of Bobby set up in the same way, the SNL hour, where this takes precedent over that. That's not the way this works. So what I'm going to do is, instead of having them on two different channels, I'm going to move everything onto one switch and then set up an override so that when I put this in, it does something. When I do it the other way, it does something. So, um, I'll be back with you very shortly when I have that working and I can show you how it works. Okay, so what I've done first of all is in the radio, I've got rid of channel 7. Channel 7 is no longer a thing. And what I've made is I've made it so that channel 5, which is going to be our mode selection, is on switch D. So this is where all of our not as important modes are. So manual stabilized and then um, cruise and this one is going to be our override switch so what we're going to do in the radio is go into special functions and override it so that so that'll be 100 that'll be zero that'll be 100 or minus 100 so yeah minus 100 0 100 what i'm going to do is make it so this overrides it to minus 100 sorry minus 50 and plus 50 and then zero doesn't override so it listens to this switch because I don't care what this switch is doing. If I say, come home, I want it to come home. So I'll get that set up in the radio and then I'll show you how that works. And then I'll show you in iNav. Okay, so this is the special functions that I've set up. So our normal switch is switch D and that's minus 100, zero plus 100. And there, as I say, therefore our less important modes. So that's going to be manual, um, stabilization, angle, I think is what I've gone for. And then this one is um, fix, I can't remember what it's called, like nav cruise, I think it's called, or GPS cruise, where it's going to keep our direction and height the same. Now, what I want is when I flip this switch either into loiter, so GPS loiter, where it circles where it is, or turn to launch, which means it'll come back and then circle, to override. I don't care about this switch. This is the excrement has hit the fan, come back. So I don't care what anything else is doing. So what I've done, as I say, that's minus 100, that's zero, that's 50, uh, sorry, 100. So sorry, let me start again. Okay, that's minus 100, that's zero, that's plus 100. What I've done here is made it so that this overrides a 
middle, it listens to this switch because it's not overriding anything. If I switch this up, you can see that's gone bold. That's minus 50. It's done nothing, so it's going to listen to this switch. And then that goes bold, which means it's listening to this switch down, so it takes it to 50. So if I then show you the... Um, the channel monitor, whoops. So channel 5 is the one that we're looking at. And we're looking at the red bar, the red bar at the top of channel 5. So manual mode, middle, and down, okay? And then if I flick this into what will be return to launch, it goes to 50. And it doesn't matter what I do on the switch, you can see the switch moving because of the grey bar, the red doesn't move. So put it into middle, listens to the listens to switch D. So yeah, if I flick that into return to launch, this switch doesn't matter, it's always going to be there. Middle, then listen to that switch, and up, it's there. So channel 5 is actually set to D, switch D, and then channel C is set to override with those options that I had before. I'll show you them again, in case you want to copy them. There they are, make sure that the red dot on the side is ticked. So now, if I go into iNav and go to modes, uh, this might be a little bit trickier for me to sort out on the fly. Let me try and... Yep. Right, so we'll leave arm alone, that's a completely different switch. So angle, we need to set that to channel 5. Basically all these things that are on channel 7, you switch into channel 5. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into its position as needed. So angle mode needs to be switch C in the middle and middle on this switch as well. And then if you look at the, at the red dot, with the blue dot, you can see it's in the middle. I'm going to make this as tight as possible. You can see it's only a thousand there. Now, next one is manual so if I put the switch in the middle and all the way up that's what manual to be I'm going to tighten that down then all the way the other way on switch D I want it to be nav cruise which is right I'm just going to reduce that down now switch C I'm going to put it to return to launch and you can see the blue has now moved here which is a position it doesn't normally go to and I can just Pop that in like that. And then nav position hold, which is your circle mode. And so you see all the way up. I can do that. Click save. I'm going to disconnect and reconnect. Go back to modes. Why is Nav Cruise always on? That's concerning me slowly. I mean, you can see it's not meant to be. Okay, so at this point, um, it's more or less finished and ready for its next flight. What I'm going to do in terms of auto trim and auto tune, in 3.0, you can have auto trim on all the time. I'm going to do that. And then auto tune, I just need to assign to, I'm probably going to put it on, on switch A. And the last thing I've got to do is go through everything and put voice commands on everything. But other than that, it should all be finished. So... Oh, well, my goggles are nearly flat. I've spent so long doing this, I'm going to have to charge the goggle battery and the radio battery again. Um, but yeah, that's uh, done for now. I will... Uh, I don't know what project to do next, really. Um, I need to look at moving planes over from the X7S so I can get it sold and get some money. Money, 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 money. Uh, but for now, I thank you for watching. Uh, I just need to put the prop back on. But, um, I'll get that sorted and it'll be all right to go. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye, like and subscribe and comments and stuff and subscribe to this guy as well. He's brilliant. Bye.